KF5HEL here to talk about the Flex 6400 radio and Dog Park SDR software on Mac OS to control it. Specifically, I want to talk about profiles and how you can use them to really make your operating experience on your Flex superb. So what is a profile? A profile is a flex term or a group of settings that you push to your radio to automatically set it up things like the band that you're operating on, the transmit and receive antenna, the power that you're going to use, a whole host of settings that you can just automatically create, set up, and use very, very quickly. In order to set up profiles, I'm going to go to the Dog Park SDR menu and select Preferences. This Preferences window comes up and the Radio tab is selected here. I want to call your attention to this area here in the window. There are three types of profiles that Flex defines. Global profiles, transmit profiles, and microphone profiles. I'm only going to talk about global profiles now. Global profiles contain the settings for the entire radio. All of the things that you could change about it. If you look here, I have several global profiles already that I've created. One for 20 meters, one for 40, and one for 80. I'm currently selecting, uh, currently have selected 20 meters, but I'll select 40 to show you what happens when I do that. You'll notice that the pan adapter moved to 40 meters. I'll do the same thing for 80 meters. So you can see that I'm quickly switching bands from 80 to 40 to 20. Now you'll notice something that when I change to 20 meters, my antenna changed to antenna 1. And on 40 meters, it's antenna 2. And on 80 meters, it's also antenna 2. That's because antenna 2 of my flex radio connects to an offset dipole that is perfectly tuned for 40 and 80 meters. Whereas antenna 1 on my flex radio is a hex beam, and that is more appropriate for 20 and the other uh, bands like 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6. So when I switch over to a particular profile, the antenna is remembered. The power is also remembered. So let's say at 40 meters I want to always transmit at say 70 watts. Well if I go and I select 20 meters, my power is at 80. If I go back to 40, my power is at, well, 71. It should have been 70. There we go. So the profile retains things like the power, the uh, tuning power, uh, the antenna. All of that stuff is retained by the profile. So you can quickly switch back and forth between profiles and set your radio up the way you want. I'm going to create a profile for 10 meters. And the way that I'm going to create this global profile is I'm going to click this plus sign here associated with the global profile section. I'm going to type 10 meters and name that profile that. You'll notice that now I have a profile called 10 meters, but I'm actually on 80 meters because that's the band I was before I created this. So I'm going to switch over to 10 meters by clicking the band here. And now I'm on 10 meters. I'm also on antenna 2, but I want to be on antenna 1 because that's my hex beam. So I'll come over here to the slice uh, tab, and I'll select antenna 1 for my receive and my transmit. And then I'll come here and I'll click Save, just to make sure that the profile settings are saved to the radio. So that is how you create a profile. And that's the usefulness of profiles inside of Dog Park SDR, and specifically the Flex Radio. They allow you to group settings together and quickly move from one band to the next with specific antennas and power and give you a lot of flexibility. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts to get from one profile to another even quicker.